last time we got this sweet floor plan from online. Now we're going to throw it in SketchUp. So I'm going to go ahead and open SketchUp. And I'm going to choose a template. Let's go ahead and do construction documentation feet and inches. Start using SketchUp. And here we are. You'll notice that I have my large tool set open. To do that, I just went to View, Toolbars, and put a check mark in front of Large Tool Set. Okay? So, next thing I'm going to do is go to File, Import, and I'm going to search House Plans. Now, some of you might already be running into a problem because over here, you may not have the right file type. The best thing you can do is just put all supported image types and then it will look for the file that you want. And then you can import said file. I'm going to click let go, pull it out here a little bit, click again. And now let's zoom in on this. Now we've got some dimensioning lines here and that makes our life really easy. We've got 80 feet and a half an inch and we've got 14 feet 4 inches here. I hate dealing in half inches, so I might go down here and go ahead and work with this 14 feet 4 inches little section here. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab the tape measure and I will click and let go. Click and let go. And now I'm just going to type 14 apostrophe 4 enter. And it's going to ask me if I want to resize the model. I'm going to say yes. Zoom extents. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to type 14 apostrophe 4 enter. And yes. And it shouldn't have changed it that much. Now, I'm going to zoom right in here on this bedroom door. I'm going to measure it. It should be about two feet six inches to three feet wide yeah yeah right in there so we're good we've got a model that's going to work to do what we need to do now I want to do two more things quickly to prep this model to use first I'm going to right click on this thing and I'm going to choose uses material and then I'm going to right click again and choose explode now I'm going to switch to my paint bucket tool and be careful not to touch anything on the screen with it. I'm not clicking on the screen. I'm just looking at materials. I'm going to go over here and scroll up to in model and choose that house plan material that I just did. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to decrease its opacity. This way when I draw on it I'll be able to see what I'm drawing. So I'm basically fading it out a little bit. And then before I screw anything up I'm going to carefully come over here and switch back to my selection tool and select the ground outside of my house and there we go that gets rid of all those dots and it looks good and I am just about ready to start drawing on it one final thing I'm gonna go ahead and put my camera in parallel projection so I don't get my screen all wonky while I'm drawing and uh, that's that's where we're gonna leave it and we'll come back next time start to draw some walls it'll be hotter than Aunt Jane's mustache